All right, let's get a thumbnail. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Taylor. If you are new, don't forget to like and subscribe. And to the almost 100 of you that have subscribed, <laughs> thank you so very much. I say it with like a cringe because I hit 100 subscribers last night and I was like, oh my gosh, I hit 100 subscribers. And then it's fluctuated back down to 97 and we're slowly going back up to 100. So I'm almost officially at 100 subscribers. So. Thank you to those of you who have joined. Today is day seven of Vlogmas, so this is my seventh upload in a row out of 25. Pretty proud of myself for uploading seven days in a row without a hinge, even though some nights it has been like right up until the minute. I've had some pretty late nights, but I'm trying to get back on track and try and stay ahead of the curve. We'll, we'll see if that actually works out for me or not. But today is going to be all about the My Next 90 Days Planner from Saver. But I found their planners as I've been searching and in the market for a new planner because 2021 is right around the corner. And this actually came across in my ads. So I fell victim to the ads and I actually am pretty impressed by it and I've watched a few other reviews that other YouTubers have done and just wanted to go through and show you all a little bit more of the planner itself. Sorry, I'm looking, I'm looking down at it as I'm talking and uh, actually share with you guys some of my goals for the next week and kind of how I'm going to set myself up for success through these next 90 days. Alrighty, so I've got my <laughs> a little festivity going on with the table runner, but this is the actual physical planner. It is in black and it is a hardback uh, planner. I personally prefer a hardback planner to those that are more of like a flexible, flimsy material. Uh, completely up to you. They have several different selections on the website. And so when opening it up, and so it might look a little bit different than some others. So starting off here, and it makes a lot of sense to those of you who are musically inclined or know how to read music, the notes spell out F-A-C-E. So it makes a, a lot of sense that it is a beauty company and I thought that that was pretty clever when opening it up and I watched another YouTube video that also pointed out and I was like, oh my gosh, okay, I got that right. It goes through self care, 90 day visions, creating 90 day goals and weekly and daily rituals and also organizing your chaos. I've never called my chaos gorgeous, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. So coming over here, I actually started to fill this out and um, what it goes through is your different skin routines and then things that you need to feel yourself and feel recharged. And those for me are water, seven to eight hours of sleep, eating lots of vegetables, doing some sort of Pilates and yoga walks and taking baths. <laughs> so coming over into the soul, you really get a clear idea on really who you are. So it goes through like, what do I value? What am I enjoying? What are my talents? What brings out the best in me? What brings out the worst in me? And then from here we go into planting seeds. So some of the things that I really want to get into um, and plant seeds for growth are post on YouTube, consistent posting on Instagram, going back to metabolic in the new year, committing to movement of any kind every day and reading new books. And then they show you kind of how to structure each of your days. And this is, I think is just really a guide to how you can batch different projects to create really a weekly rhythm and give you more of a peace of mind to make you feel like 
you don't have to get everything done in, in one day or even one sitting. Um, they have a looking back and looking forward section and it goes through what I've learned in the last 90 days, what's flowing, what's not flowing, what I wanna get better at, do differently at. My 90 day vision, it goes through what I wanna feel, um, what I want to manifest and what I want to do in order to manifest my 90 day vision. Going through those within the next 90 days, I'm really just gonna focus on my health. That's something that's always important to me, but I wanna just put a greater focus onto it and feeling good within my skin. I think that that is always just gonna be something that I kind of go back and forth on. I don't always feel comfortable in my own skin, but it's something that I'm working really hard to kind of initiate positive self-talk and just to just to feel really good and by doing those different things i just spoke on like getting plenty of sleep eating plenty of vegetables just moving my body a little bit every day that's going to contribute to me being able to achieve this or be on a better path to this here moving forward and so we also go into what i want to manifest and I really want to grow my YouTube channel and I know that that <laughs> takes time. I'm <laughs> no stranger to that. Uh, but I need to be more consistent with it and I, that's how I'm gonna achieve that goal. I haven't been consistent with it. I'm very honest with myself about that. But I think that I can grow my YouTube channel by at least another 100 subscribers in the next 90 days if I stay consistent and I work on my self-promotion I also want to gain more of a following on Instagram and I don't want to become some mega influencer. That's not my, my goal on any of this. I really do like my daytime job. This is really for creative purposes, but I have noticed that I've been losing Instagram followers and I, I don't know if it's the inconsistency, inconsistency of my posting here as well. I've looked up different things within the algorithm. I'm not using reels or anything like that, but I do at least wanna like hold steady and stop losing Instagram followers. And so I also think that I can do this just through consistent posting and staying very authentic within myself and within what I'm just pushing out there on to my platform. Then another thing that I wanna manifest is savings. So I put down a specific dollar amount that I actually want to save within the next 90 days. And I'm going to accomplish that through budgeting and sticking to a budget. Chris and I always talk about this, but of course around the holidays, it's, it can be really tough to budget. Or if you haven't budgeted for the holidays up until now, like I mentioned, we just recently bought a house. So um, we were really budgeting and saving for that up until that point and then kind of past then we're slowly working on like building up different areas um, within savings and um, I just I want to start to build more of my savings up so all of those things will hopefully help for me to get to my next goals. Next page is something that I really love so it goes through the six different things in order to kind of achieve, and that's actually how the weeks are structured as well. So it goes through detoxing your brain, defining priorities, doing self-care every day, pulling weeds, plant seeds, and then structure your day. So detoxing your brain is all about dumping all of the to-dos, that inner voice in your head, um, and really onto paper that can be therapeutic and really cathartic. With this, just referring to the 90 day vision and keeping in mind, okay, what can I delegate in order to get to this? Uh, defining priorities. So each week it sets up and you set out three essential priorities that will make the most significant difference on to your 90 day vision. And then self care every day is really activating your inner and outer radiance through self care. So referring back to the self care reflection exercises at the beginning of the planner and just making sure that you are doing those regularly and taking care of yourself while you're trying to achieve your other goals. And then one of the next things that I really love is this pulling weeds and planting seeds area of this planner and 
COVID section are the different tasks that uh, are often the things that we don't want to do like pulling weeds from a garden examples might be Paying bills or scheduling appointments or running different areas just things that we need to do We just often don't like to take the time to sit down and do it and then planting seeds are actions that has and have potential growth and so what's in that it's an actionable item that you can commit to in being proactive. So you really should put different stars next to the seeds um, and consistently over time, they will eventually grow from there. And then, then last but not least is structuring your day. So structure the day like you would organize a closet. And it says structuring your day for 10 minutes in the morning could save you hours every week. Pro tip, I actually schedule out my days the nights before, and you'll see this here within this planner. I have big tasks already on my calendar that I know that I'm gonna have this week, next week, a few months in advance. However, just the little different areas of your schedule can be so flexible or can change more readily that I usually take what I've done at the end of the day each day and then I'm like, okay, this is what I've been able to accomplish. What do I need to get done tomorrow in order to set myself up for success for the next day and the next? And that's personally helped for me instead of planning the morning of. Each person is different. I'm not a professional planner, but I've seen that this really helps me at work and I learned this through other professionals at work who recommended me to set my days up this way as well. So each week you're gonna see this here, which we kind of already went through. And again, I started writing already in number one. So that's why we're not going through that. You open up to your week, you flip to the next page, you have your six and seven days. I don't wanna call them your weekends, it might be your weekend, whatever it works for you. But from there, it goes straight to the closing rituals and I'm not sure that every planner is structured like this. I just wish that this page was after the following two because this to me feels like, okay, this is my weekend review. Like on a Sunday, I'm gonna be filling this out as I'm reflecting on the past week and setting myself up for the next. When you flip the page, it goes then to the extra daily to do's and notes, which is actually really cool because in the sample, which understandably so, they are trying to probably save paper in this. Um, but actually within here, you get nine boxes, which is actually really nice. When you saw the sample before, it was only like a one pager that had six. So this has nine, which I think is really nice for me personally. I have set up my vlogmas there and I'll I can show you guys that really quick so it actually I set up my vlogmas calendar for the next few days and I just circled kind of what I'm gonna do on each day and then I still have room for more so if you're also on YouTube and planning it um, you can do that or if you have like different meetings or if you're looking to go grocery shopping on one day whatever it may be this is I think a really great use of space within the calendar and then you flip to the containers for thoughts, meetings, projects, doodling, really anything can go in here. So if there's something from the previous kind of to-do and planning that you wanna carry over, um, or just really anything in general, I think that this, again, is a really great use of space. There are eight boxes here that you can kind of take up in writing. You can also journal here if you want to journal. There's a note section in the back, but just all in all, I think that the closing ritual page should go after these two because then it flips right in to week three. So that's kind of one of my only constructive thoughts about this planner. All in all, I really like the planner and the way in which it's set up. It has so much space for you to take advantage of, which is really, really neat. That's oftentimes one of my complaints, again, with planners and different organizers is just that there's not enough space to write everything down. Or you feel that something that's it's just not categorized or whatever. So I've heard that this is a really great beginner planner inner planner quote unquote for those who are really just starting to get into the weeds 
for lack of better terms, who are really starting to like get into the details of planning and organizing and adding structure to that instead of just being like, here's Monday, here's your block that's X big on the page, here's Tuesday, here's Wednesday. And so I think that this will really set you up for success if you use it to its full potential. Uh, that's, I guess, a given with anything in life. You have to, you know, this is a tool. This is a tool for you to use. We have to use it to our full potential. I have to use this to my full potential in order for me to then be able to reach these different goals and visions that I am manifesting. So let's get right on into some of my goals here for the week and for my next 90 days. <laughs> So starting out in the zero category is detoxing your brain. Again, this is something that I'm gonna really have to think through and it can probably change on a day-to-day -day basis. So not gonna share that part with you. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into number one, which is setting your priorities. And my top three priorities for the week are one, posting consistently on YouTube. Number two is finishing our wedding website. And then number three is finishing my Bridesmaid's Handbook. For self-care every day, I have listed at the top is drinking water, drinking lots and lots of water. And then I also have movement, limiting my screen time, and reducing my sugar intake. As you guys saw, because you guys literally saw my whole entire life throughout the last week, I consumed quite a bit of sugar. Throughout my week, just some consistent themes are going to be posting every day on YouTube for the planting seeds and then like coinciding that with a post on my story and or a post on my actual Instagram. And then each day I'm gonna go for a morning walk and I'm also going to get some stretching in in addition to the exercise card that Chris and I pull each and every day. I'm not gonna do closing ritual. The closing ritual seems kind of silly for me to do right now. I'll do a weekend review at the end of this week to let you guys know how I actually liked using this throughout the week and if I think that this is worth it or not or attainable or not for the average person who is working a full-time job in addition to a side hustle and or just like another side passion project if you will which is what youtube is for me it's just something that i am passionate about and a creative outlet for me and that is really all i have for today overall i'm really excited by this planner it is a little bit more expensive for 90 days whereas you could just buy a regular planner for this amount but if I am correct, this planner was $29.95 and I did buy it through Instagram. There are a few different uh, iterations of this planner that you can check out a lot of different colors and such. This is a pretty neutral planner overall. I love the black and gold, but that's also just kind of more of my aesthetic and something that I personally like to look at. I, I don't love a ton of color. Um, and so I think that that is great for that. It seems like a very durable planner. I'm really excited to start using it this week. I've already been going off of it as of this morning. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. I know that this style of planning probably isn't for everyone, but I'm actually really excited to try it out. And I think that I'll actually be able to reach my goals if I stick to this um, and go through this and then maybe eventually and gradually kind of move out of this structured of a planner and just kind of start to do that on my own from some of the reviews that I have watched. That's what a lot of individuals say is that if you're just kind of starting out, this is a really good one to go with. But if you've already done like other power sheets and other types of planners that this might be a little kind of redundant for you. I don't know, let me know. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. The link to this planner and more from Saver Beauty will be linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow for another video.